Hello everyone. Welcome to Teachopedia. Hello everyone. Welcome to Teachopedia. In today's video, we will be continuing our last video in which we send the data from a client to a server which was Raspberry Pi and just printing on terminal or IDE the, 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 the data which we are getting from the client or Arduino or ESP so now we will get this data from our server and push that data to a cloud and plot some graph and, some, and see the visualization of those data so for IoT cloud I am using ThingSpeak cloud it's a free you need to create an account and you will able to see this screen so go into the channels and you will get this type of screen and then you need to create a new channel so before that let's just recap recap this whole exercise and what we have done so far is we get the data from sensors we send it to our server which was Raspberry Pi and then now from Raspberry Pi we will push that data to ThingSpeak Cloud so on ThingSpeak Cloud you need to create a new channel you need to name it let's just testing IUT and then you, you name uh, give some description if you want to and then just define some labels I will give temperature the data which we will get we will insert we will display that values in that field so one for the temperature and one for the humidity so that's how you create a channel so if you just save the channel you will get a new channel so I have already created a channel which is sensors data and here I'm getting the temperature reading and humidity reading so you can add your widgets you can add a numeric display which I have already done that you can use card gauge widget and you can also add some visualization if you want to like a line graph or location and all so let's just go on into our Raspberry Pi OS and just code how we can send the data from Raspberry Pi to IoT ThingSpeak Cloud so we are in Python IDE and now we are you will be, we will be using some URL and some API of IoT uh, ThingSpeak Cloud and through that we will send the data from Raspberry Pi to that cloud so you will need some API so for the API channel you can go into the API keys and just get the API key and use it in your Python code so for the triggering part or to send the data or to send a get request you need some URL library uh, and we just import that using URL lib3 and we are using its function called pool manager through which we will send two values temperature and humidity in the connect function it will remain the same we are subscri subscribing with two topics and then on the messaging side we are actually checking for each topic and whenever we get that topic we actually update our value using global variable and then update that with our temperature and same goes for humidity and then if both values are not null which means that both values are present we are making a request through get and just using our API key with our ThingSpeak cloud URL and just sending that data to our cloud rest of the code will remain the same we are just calling in the main function our on connect and on message functions and just starting that loop again to wait for the incoming message and as soon as the message arrive we send get this data and push it to our cloud so let's just run it so we just run our client code and waiting for its incoming message on our server and then as we receive this message from our client on our server we will check its output on 
IoT Cloud or ThingSpeak Cloud. So as you can see, we are getting temperature reading and humidity reading in our widgets and as well as in our line chart as well. And I also added the sensor reading which is my current location in Karachi. So that's how you push your cloud. It's real time. You get this update where updated value as soon as your client send message or send sensors value. So in today's video, we learn how to send data from our server or Raspberry Pi to a cloud, which was ThingSpeak Cloud. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me. Don't forget to like, subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.